Welcome to a solo Rust adventure. Over the last few months, I've been playing Rust with all sorts of characters. Stevie, Blueprint, Wally and Fory, but today I decided to return to my roots alone as a solo on a freshly wiped 1000 player official server. Why? Honestly at this point, I don't even know. I must just enjoy the pain. So strap in tight, because this story is going to be a roller coaster. My name is Wiljam, sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy my vanilla rust experience. And so, let's begin. The server had just wiped, which meant all 1000 players were racing to get a start down. But not me, because I had a slightly different goal to get my first base down, and you'll understand that soon enough. Even so, what I would tell anyone on Fresh Wipe is to focus on getting bags down before anything else. And with that in mind, I headed inland looking for cloth. Mmm, pumpkin. Good. He's got a hatchet, get his ass! Beat him up! <laughs> no one survives. Hmm, I actually kind of like this area over here. It's gonna be very tier 1 and chaotic. Lots of monuments over there though. And it's very close to uh, a certain monument that I'm going to be using this wipe. So I think I might give it a shot. Oh no, I'm getting chased by a spear guy. I should win with a bone knife though. I'm a turn on him. Oh no, I missed. Ah! Oh my god. Ah! There's another gun! <laughs> He's got a rock down. <laughs> there are so many players. Wilchim! Hello, Wilchim! Hello! What? What? Yo, Wilchim, I will help you. How does he know it's me? <laughs> what? Stop trying to kill me. He's an animal. Someone stop him. Oh, no. I will survive. I'll beat everyone up if I have to. Uh, <laughs> guess I'm not getting a start down here, man. After getting another spawn down in the area I wanted to build, it was time to get some bags. Oh, yes, cloth. Hey, <laughs> that guy was going for it too. Hey. Hey, bro, give me my cloth. Give me. <laughs> no, it's mine. Give me my cloth. <laughs> Come. All right, bag number one. We got it down. No more spawning on the beach. That is good. Right, you know what? With so many players, I am just going to get a bow. I, I need to defend myself from this army of nakeds, man. Wait, no, this guy is still chasing me. He wants his cloth. Oh, my God. Guy just appeared out of nowhere. Oh, no way am I gonna get killed by bone knife. I missed! Oh, I'm dead. I'm actually dead. Ah! Oh. Come on, fuck off. <laughs> Wait, he attacked me. What does he mean? I <laughs> got the weirdest strafe I've ever seen. Oh, well. Hey, he had a bear rug. Let's go, dude. Ah, it feels good to be back solo, man. And I guess on a similar sort of note, I can't believe I'm almost a million subscribers. I was watching one of my really, really old videos today, and it's like, I can't believe I'm the same person. I would think I was celebrating the 1k milestone, and being able to look back now, it, it's actually just incredible. And I can't thank you guys enough for that, for... Those of you that have kind of stuck with me from the start, and also all of the new support as well, it, it genuinely is mind-blowing, so thank you. After an eventful start, I eventually made it to Fishing Village, and here I would attempt an interesting strategy for some starting scrap that I'd stumbled across on YouTube. <laughs> Just give me one sec, I gotta sit on the toilet for a bit. There we go, that'll do, basically full health. So, we go to the fisherman, and we do his little fishing challenge, there we go. I look for this uh, bait, and then I get myself a fishing rod. Hey, how convenient is that? Thank you very much. Hey, it's the fishing boys. Don't mind if I just squeeze in over here. Alright, I haven't done this in a minute, man. I can't even remember how to fish. 
This is so funny. So boat passing by. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. No. Rip. All right, all right, I can do it. I just fumbled. Oh my god, they've got the whole crew on that boat, man. Probably going rig. Oh, what are we gonna get? Oh, a herring. Come on, man. That's not a good start. Oh, well, we got some better bait. <laughs> the amount of boats and players around is crazy. Right. So, my plan was to use the fishing rod I'd acquired to catch two small shark. I could sell those shark for 90 scrap at this fishing village and buy some diving equipment. Oh, this one's stubborn, man. Won't come in. Come on, man. Come in. What? What? No. <laughs> I fumbled again. Hey, we got a salmon. I'll take it. How much does that get me? Two salmon. 55 scrap. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, I'm going to buy that scrap. And then, actually, I think I'm going to make a quick base first with all the players around. It's kind of uh, worrying. Oh, solar panel. What the hell? I'll take it. That's insane. No BPs. And now, with the scrap for the diving equipment, I plan to make a quick base first, just so I had a respawn point. Oh! This guy's camping fishing village with spears! Oh, he's the spear god! What in the world? He doesn't miss? Right, I gotta get some wood. I need to get this base down, man. This is so scary. Damn, that ice lake's probably a big group. They got train yard and rig. Oh, that's probably one of them, actually. Might even have a gun. Oh, he saw me. <laughs> I'm out. Oh, shit, he's looking for me. He's got a horse. Oh, this isn't good. I might be dead here. Just gonna hide. <laughs> I think I might be okay. Oh, I bet that's the same spear guy again. Needs to be careful. Okay. I can get a hatchet. That's all I needed this whole time. Alright, now I got a hatchet. Back to the toilet for round two. Ooh, there's cloth. No way. I needed that. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna farm wood and get this base up as soon as I can. Boom. 2k wood. That should be enough. With enough wood to put down a little starter base by the fishing village, all I needed to do now was find the perfect location. Wait. Wait, I mean, this is a horrible spot, but I can make this work, <laughs> actually. Wait, wait, I can build right into the cliff. I can do something here. I can do something, I know it. Wait, no, I need like a hundred wood. God damn it. Oh, I really need to get some wool before I get a tool cupboard. I think I'm gonna spend my whole life freezing cold. But I'm gonna make this work. At least I have a bear rug, right? <sighs> Feels like home already. This is gonna be a good day. Hey, this might be looking a little bit scuffed, but on the bright side, I don't think anyone is ever gonna find this base. This is actually like one of the coolest locations ever. Oh, and I can even get up? This is huge! Now, if you guys think this base is interesting already, just you wait, because soon I discover something pretty incredible about my location. But as nighttime fell, I farmed some wood to get a tool cupboard and secure my base. <laughs> I can barely even see my base. Now it's dark. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Tool cupboard, campfire on, we're chilling. While it was still nighttime, I headed out to find a bit of stone to secure my base. Oh, 
Okay, we got a little bit of stone. You know what? I'm going to go take that rod and do a little bit of fishing while it is still night. Hey, the fishing boys are still here. Oh, first bite. What are we going to get? Come on. I want shark or salmon. Or trout. Anchovy. Damn, waste of my time. Oh no, is this guy about to push me? Okay, great. <laughs> Got a little rat trying to ruin my fishing, man. Is he gonna keep doing it? Probably. Yep, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, man. <sighs> this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> Average rust enjoyer. <laughs> Oh, we got a big one here. Hey, salmon, let's go. Out of the nut. Ooh, trout. I can use that as bait and now get a shark or a salmon. Ooh, we got another big one. Come on, get in here. Yes. Yes. Oh, what? Why did that break? No, dude. Hey, we got another salmon. That's another 55 scrap at least. Oh my gosh, this one does not want to come in. It's definitely a fighter. I'm I'm hoping for a shark. Come on, please. Let me have it. <laughs> I can't. This one won't come in, man. Hey, finally, we got a shark. Nice. Come on. Hey, salmon. Nice. Right, so I'm going to buy 55 scrap there, and then I'm going to keep fishing to get one more shark, and then I'll be able to buy 95 scrap. Oh, there we go. Huge. First, first, uh, first go. Hell yeah, 145 scrap. Now I can buy myself a diving tank and some flippers. I can get in this water. The base still stands. Let's go. Uh, actually, do you just want to get the foundation to stone so I can't get soft raided if someone breaks in? With the diving tank purchased, I can now take to the ocean for the hidden crates beneath the sea. A superb way for farming scrap fast. Oh, oh my gosh, this guy's jump scaring me. All right, I'll start this challenge, and at least that way I can work my way towards the pump shotgun, which is sick. And now I just gotta find some dive sites. Wait, is it two? Oh, it is! Look at that! Two diving sites next to each other. You'll love to see it. I think, to be honest. Take a shirt. I reckon there'll be a dive site over here somewhere. Unfortunately, I was too close to the fishing village and it seemed that someone had made it to the dive sites first. I headed out deeper to find some untouched treasure. Today. Hey, I'm slowly getting more clothes as I do this. With a few components gathered, I headed to harbour to recycle it all up. This guy's gonna get the fright of his life. Oh, he already sees me? Okay. Oh my god, this guy's the best player ever! He's got the jukes on him! Oh, why is this guy attacking me? Go away! <laughs> Nah, I think this guy's gonna get away. That's so annoying. He's probably got some good comps on him. Stop it! Come back, please! I wish this guy hadn't just ran past the other dude and started killing me. Alright, 15 summon kits. That should get me enough cloth to get going. At least get some bags down around the area, which is good. Alright, that will do. I don't want to push my luck any further. I'm getting home. This is a really good start. Okay, with that little run, I should definitely look at getting some farm. I'm going to get a furnace crafted, but I need metal and I need stone. I want to make this base a bit stronger. I like this a lot, man. It's so cozy. I got the rug, I got the bear rug, I got my furnace down. I'm just on my own in the middle of the ocean. I don't know, this feels kind of nostalgic for some reason.
There we go. We can get some metal cooking now and get some sheet metal doors on. Okay, I still need stone though for the base. Oh, we got a farmer. I don't think he heard me. <laughs> this guy needs a new headset, man. Can't have him stealing my notes. Can't have loads of farm. Yeah, there we go. That's what I needed. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? A polar bear came out of nowhere. I just need to grab. Oh, we got one of the clans farming wood. I'm not fucking with that for now. Okay, well I got the stone home. Now I'm gonna need some wood before I can do any more expansion. Okay, yeah, that'll definitely be the chainsaw group I just heard. There'll probably at least six members, I imagine, living in a place like this. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna find somewhere else to farm wood. Or well, mini wars going on over here, what the fuck? <laughs> Which naked will win? Fights! Oh, that was the other one. Why does everyone else's yoke go off first click and not mine? <laughs> Come on, have something. Hey, not bad. You have a few components. I will take it. Oh, this area is insane. Promise the second I come inland, there are just nakeds everywhere because of how many players are on this server. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to recycle at that supermarket. It's just too hectic. Oh my gosh, everyone has the moves today. Duke and everything. After clearing out my area, I was eventually able to farm some wood in peace. I made it home and got my furnaces smelting. This should make it a little bit easier to jump out of my, uh, my rock. Now the question is, how do I want to expand this base? So, first off, let's get rid of this. Right, can I place a foundation there? Mm, maybe not, that's a shame. Okay, I could extend out this way quite easily. That could be a square. I could make a boathouse. You know what? I think for now, I will just add this little triangle. I have no idea how I want to expand this, so I'm just going to leave all of this as wood. Just so I can have an airlock, at least. See, I know I can do something really cool with this triangle foundation out here. I just don't know what. I want to be able to use the cliff, but... Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, I can place a foundation here. That could be quite cool. Rather than just a wall. It would make it more interesting. Wait, I mean, that could almost be a bunker. Wait, that can be a bunker! <laughs> Hang on a minute. This might not work, but if it does... Hang on, can I place these walls? I can place that one. What about this one? Oh, I can place this one too! But what about the other foundation? Hang on. Uh, I don't think I can build a wall there. I can, but it can't be a wall. Wait, does it even need the other wall? Hold up a second. I just almost about this side. Wait, does it even need to be a... Wait, I don't even think I need a foundation because of the cliff. Hang on, two half walls. If I can remove the bottom one... Wait a second. This just might work? If it does, this is gonna blow my mind. Can I actually get out? Yeah, I can. I can even jump out on that cliff. <laughs> I'm getting so excited. This can work. Okay, okay. I'm committing to this. I'm gonna get rid of that. Seal that up because that doesn't need to be a door. Okay, so upgrade that half wall to stone. Place a wall there. Oh, there we go. Finally got some light. And he's got another wall down here. Okay. And then another half wall on top of there. And then seal this up with triangles. Oh my gosh, this is going to be perfect. Rotate that. This is going to be a double door entrance. As long as I can still make this jump. Oh, I can. Okay, okay. For those of you that are confused, just, just wait. I, I promise you this is going to be the coolest thing you've ever seen. You just need a double door. I can make that metal, finally. 
This may just be one of my greatest creations. I still need to test that the actual bunker works, but I'm po I'm pretty hopeful. Okay, so I can seal this doorway in. Upgrade that. Now I just need to break this wall behind me. Get to work with this machete. With the foundations of my bunker built, all that was left was destroying the wall and testing to see if my crazy idea could actually work. Alright, that's done. Now for the test. Okay, uh, I need a building plan. Oh, I've already got one. So, I build two half walls like this, I upgrade the top one, I remove the bottom half wall. We are left with that. Perfect. So, this is what happens. How the bunker works. Picture this. I'm logging out for the night. I place a twig half wall like this. I then place a triangle on top. I upgrade this triangle to stone, metal, high qual, whatever level the, the bunker is. I then log out right here. When I wake up in the morning, I respawn in the bag. I knock out the twig and the bunker clears. And the base is now free. Let's go. <laughs> it actually works. The best, most compact bunker ever. Wait, and actually what makes this better than a normal bunker is that you cannot raid the foundations from the outside because they're inside the cliff. Which means honeycombing this base is going to be so cheap. And it's literally going to be impossible to raid the base anywhere except through the bunker. Oh my god, this is actually going to be incredible. I don't have an airlock anymore, but... <laughs> what? With my humble wood shack now transformed into a potentially impenetrable bunker, it was time to get to work. Alright, I guess I could put the workbench in there for now. That kind of works. It, it does the job. I'll have to find somewhere else for my furnace. Oh, there is a bear outside. I really should kill that if I can. I need the leather on the low grade. Alright, come on, you big lump. Let me at ya. Oh, <laughs> not if I miss. Oh no, don't run away. No, Yogi. Okay, well. Oh, there's a new base over there. That's not good. And it's active. Is that guy? That guy's coming for me. I'm gonna try and bait him towards me. Oh, he's already shooting me. Okay. Wait, is that two? Oh no. That guy just got murdered. <laughs> Instant karma for attacking me. You just got a hello from the uh, the group on the ice lake, I think. Oh, this isn't looking good for that new guy. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, the ice lake guys are uh, checking his base out. Something tells me this new guy's base is not going to last for long. It's not hidden in the cliff like my one. I think he's about to get raided. Oh my gosh, there are so many. If these guys see my base, my base is gone. I made the right decision building where I did. I think it might have saved me, actually. That definitely does make me want to farm some stone now, though. That's getting me kind of scared. With the isolate group roaming the area, I was at risk of getting raided. I was against the clock and had to farm to upgrade as soon as I could. Oh, they're still on his base. They are 100% going to raid it. Well, <laughs> that goes my new neighbor. He didn't last very long. That guy just farmed the mineshaft. Oh, he's got a tool, actually. He might have done. Oh, I see another guy over there. I should go for him. No, dude. No, do you want to die? There we go. I feel like the key to both fights is patience with your shots. You let them walk into your arrows. Oh, he's getting raided. <laughs> the neighbor's getting explorated. Okay, I cannot let my base get spotted. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of them in there. I thought it would be a big group. That's kind of terrifying. Hopefully they don't see me here. Yeah, okay, I think I'm good. I, uh, I think it might be a good idea to upgrade my shack to stone. Just maybe. Alright, base of stone. We are okay. If they start raiding now, I can seal the bunker and then they'd need four rockets to raid it, which I think is solid for now. There 
There we go. We got some more space in here for storage now. That feels better. You guys want to see something cool? You can uh, place a box in a cauldron. And it's really perfect for compact little bases like this. I can place that large box in the cauldron. Look at that. It also looks cool. How are they still raiding? What the fuck? <laughs> it's taken a long while to, to raid that small base. And now, with my base secure enough from any potential raiders, it was time to take my diving gear and head to the ocean. Seeing as I'd be gone a while, I sealed my bunker just in case the Ice Lake group found my base. Okay, so now, even if I get raided while I'm out, they will have to blow through uh, four rockets. That's good. I know I should do it, but I really want vengeance, man. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I deserve bad karma after that. <laughs> That's too funny, though. Ooh, first large crate. What do we get? Ooh, that's quite nice. I like that. I'll take it. Nice. We got some armor. Well, I'm gonna be plagued by what I did to that poor man. <laughs> it was just one time, okay? It was fine. It was just once that I screwed him over. He lost one bait. <laughs> Oh, my diving tank! <laughs> I forgot to put it on! There we go, that was the karma. Oh my god, that's a shark! Oh, I just saw the shadow! <laughs> oh, that was so scary! Oh, salvaged axe! That was worth risking my life with that shark, it was worth it. Bro, I keep falling off. I think I only see one crate, that's not ideal. It must be close to finishing the challenge, actually. Maybe it's on the next one. Ooh, there we go. That's 40 scrap. That's not bad. What the hell? That's some decent RNG. Alright, okay. I think it is time to recycle. I don't want to push my luck. I also can't believe I still haven't unlocked 10 crates. That's weird. I must have done 9. With a full inventory of components, I headed to harbor to recycle. But this early on to wipe, nowhere was safe. He has a teammate over there. This is stupid, but I'm gonna go for loot and then run. Oh, he has a compound bow! Oh, that is not good. Go, 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 go. Get in the water! Oh! Oh my gosh. I'm so dead, aren't I? Go, 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 go. Oh. I can pop out here, pop a bandage, then go back, right? Maybe? Bro, this is such a scam. What do I do? What do I do? I think I've got to risk it. Bandage, bandage. I just need the one. Okay, go! <laughs> Away! To fishing! To be fair, I only got his scrap. You can't get greedy like that. I literally, I, I saw the scrap, I grabbed it, and I was gone. Man. Wait, am I gonna die of cold if I try going home? I, I actually think I might. It's really cold in the snow. It's too late now, I've committed. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh, I hope no one finds my body, please. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I gotta clear the bunker real quick. I probably should have F1 to fishing, but it's fine. Oh, I think I made it. That was a really, really huge run. I've almost got enough for a tier 2 off of that. Yeah, one more recycle like that, and I, uh, and I'm there. With just a little more scrap needed for the tier 2, I thought I would go for a spot of fishing to lower my heart rate a bit after the last excursion. Ah. He's gonna try and run for fishing. Oh! Where did that guy come from? Oh yeah, back where I belong, with a rod in my hands, <laughs> fishing in the building village. <laughs> oh yeah, just need this last bit of scrap. We need some shark. Oh, salmon. Uh, I might gut that actually, just to get a bunch of fish. 
Hello. Oh no, this guy is just being a pest. <laughs> oh, no, I've got a shark as well. Don't do it, man. No. <laughs> I deserve that. No clicking shark, man. Nah, this guy's different. He's still doing it. This is rat behavior. Okay, and he's doing it again. Oh, it's a different guy this time. <laughs> what the fuck? It's an, oh, it's, the war has begun. Surely he doesn't do it again. He does. He does do it again. Okay, well, looks like uh, no one wants anyone to fish right now. Yep, he's doing it again. Okay. Well, <laughs> you know what? I think I should probably just give up at this point. Oh. Hey, we snuck a salmon in while he wasn't watching. <laughs> he's doing it someone else. Oh, he's back again. Yeah. He's followed me to the ladder. I can't... <laughs> Bro, this guy. What is his problem, man? He's just following me everywhere. After a few minutes of fishing village, it was clear that I wasn't going to be able to get any fishing actually done. I headed out to try and get scrap on the road. Actually, I, ca I can kill it. I can kill it. Oh yeah, I can definitely kill this bear, actually. I need this. Just gotta use the rock. Oh no. Oh no! The rock! Oh, it's not a good shape! I'm actually gonna die. No! <laughs> Yoki! Oh, did that guy get my loot? Oh, he did. The little rats. I think he farmed the bear as well. Oh, he's just running. He's not even fighting. Well, this guy's booking it. Why is he running so far? I just had a bow. Come back. There we go. I should probably bank all my fish meat. I got quite a lot. Uh oh. Uh, I think the guy's a weapon. Maybe a revy. I might be dead here. <laughs> Never mind. That was the most unaware player I've ever seen. Oh, he did have revy. Interesting. <laughs> Thank you for the farm, my guy. I should grab that metal node in a sec once I get this home. You know what? I think it might be time I got an airlock. <laughs> I think I've been putting it off a little bit too long. I hope you guys aren't tearing your hair out by now. I know I probably would be. So it was finally time to expand the base just a little bit. First, I would need to farm some wood. I know, I know. Wilgem farming wood. This is not something you see every day. Okay, I finally have some wood in base. Right, let's get these furnaces filled up. Oh, I only have one. Uh, and airlock time. Finally. Hmm, which of my 70 metal door skins to use today? I think I'll go with the evil within. I like it. Right, I think I want to expand sort of sideways. So for now, I'm just going to do this. Keep it simple. Just have an airlock. I'll upgrade it to stone. Feel a little bit safer now. Can't be, uh, can't be deep done. Beautiful. Alright, well, I have a revy. I should, um, let some sulfur smelt so that I can actually craft ammo. I want to roam this revy. I'm fed up of, uh, dealing with primitive spear guys and bow guys. At least this way I'll actually be able to, uh, to deal with them. After letting some sulfur cook up, I turned it into gunpowder and crafted ammunition. I was now ready to head back to the ocean to farm scrap and get my workbench level 2. But I wanted to do this properly. I gambled and took 125 scrap from my base to buy a boat. This way I could cover more ground faster and get to the dive sites more efficiently. <laughs> I always miss those fucking jumps, man. <laughs> too dark to actually see if there's a shark, so I'm just gonna risk it and pray that there is not. What have we got? Nothing special. On to the next. That was the worst diving crate I've ever seen. I think my crate challenge must be bugged because I have looted so many crates and still not completed it, which is really odd, but quite annoying because I want that pumpy. Oh, 
that shark's coming close. You better not turn on me. You don't you dare. God, I don't like it. <laughs> oh man, there's a shark on both boats. Okay, this is gonna be rough. A bridge away. Oh wait, what? We just got it. Finally. I, got, I don't know why that took like 30 crates, but okay. Uh-oh. Oh, that shark! No! <laughs> Stop, please! <laughs> oh. oh! Oh, I'm alive! <laughs> Fuck me! I don't want to go back on the water, man! It's scary! With a full inventory from the ocean, I first headed back to base to bank my scrap. My plan was to recycle all the components at harbour, but you guys know me. I wanted to be secure and get my scrap safe first. Okay, well, at least I made the scrap back from the boat. So worst case scenario, I don't lose anything from this run. That's something. That being said, I do really need to get this stuff recycled. And I think I've got to go harbour. But honestly, I don't think anywhere is safe around here. Alright, if I die with this, I'll be quite sad. I really need this scrap back home for that tier 2. But I gotta risk it. Let's go to harbour. No, thank you. Oh no. Why are there two people behind me? I'm not gonna be able to get back to my boat. Okay, one's headshot. Huge. Wait, there's another one on me? Oh no. No, he's not dead! Come on, dude! Oh, are they all together? Fuck, they've got all my recycle loot. Why do they have to be coming from different directions, man? I don't know what to do here. Ah, I'm whiffing my Revy. Okay, that's one down. Should be two more. And they should be really low. No! Fuck, that was the first guy I shot. Ah, I should have killed him when I had the chance. Unfortunately, overwhelmed with numbers and missing my shots, I lost the fight and my components. I couldn't dwell on it and I had to pick myself up and get back out there. You know what, I'm gonna craft the DB and head to supermarket and see what happens. I have a feeling it's just gonna be overrun with rats, but we shall see. I will be the rat. Ow, I think I'm dead. Damn it. Oh, these two are together! I did not know that. Okay, that's one down. One more. Wait, what? How did he run to fishing? He shot me! Oh, I downed him. No, but he's gonna steal the loot. Unbelievable. Damn, man, what? This fishing village is so scuffed. You can run to the safe zone, even if you've shot someone. Maybe I should kill this guy. I could use that. Was this the guy that took... No, I don't think it was the guy that took the stuff. I'm gonna get him anyway. Actually, he does have a crossy. It could be. Nah, there's no way you're getting back to fishing village. Get back here! <laughs> oh, you stink, man. You stinky. Yeah, sorry, man. You will get raided now. Alright, let's go have a little explore at the super... Oh, there's a guy here. There was a guy there. Uh, let's see what happens. I am expecting to die here, though. Oh, okay. I'm already getting crossed in the back. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. There are... What the fuck? This is why I don't come here. No, nah, the first time I come here, and there are like seven different people here. Yeah, no, I'm never coming back here again. Despite my better sense of judgment, I couldn't resist the action, and right have returned to the supermarket one more time. Oh my god, all the bodies have been picked clean by the rats of supermarket. Oh my. <laughs> so many people. Just a yoker. Gamer. 
Uh oh, the cavalry has arrived. Do you guys crouching up? Oh, oh my what? Bo Hello. Oh, that's one dead. Wait, could I win this? Is it once? I might win this. Oh no, I missed. That would have been sick. Oh well. After the recent shenanigans, I was starting to run low on cloth in my base. I decided to take my sewing kits and risk recycling at harbour once again. And this is where things started to get rocky. Alright, got Revy crafted, got the sewing kits. Let's do this. I need to make this run. Further away. There is a guy here. Oh, I bet it's the same three man again. Okay. Uh, I wish I'd have closer because I really need to recycle these components. Oh no, the cavalry is here. It is the three man. I'm so dead. What? Okay. One dead. Ah, oh, yep. Yeah. There's nothing I can do there. With all my cloth on the line, I had to take a gamble. I went straight to Fishing Village to collect my pump shotgun and try and take them on. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh, no I'm not. That guy almost just screwed me over. Wow. Bro, I just need to get to Barber. Oh my god. What is this? Oh, there's another one. Stop. Okay, Harbor, I'm going. Oh, you must be joking. Who called the Grub Army? Jeez. This is insane. This area is horrible. No way! That's the 800 cloth! That, that's literally my cloth. Oh no, his teammate's gonna be coming. I have gotta go. I'm gone, I'm gone! Ah! Hey, they clearly just wanted to recycle it for me. They were being thoughtful. That, that's what it was. Oh my god, they're still chasing me? These guys are crazy! <laughs> I think I'm okay. Bro, what? Where is this guy coming from? What? No! It's endless! Wait, what? Oh no. Oh no, 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 I'm stuck. I'm dead. Ah, go! No, no! Oh my word! It's just incredible. 1,000 player servers. Don't play them. For the sake of your sanity, do not play these servers solo, it's not worth it. Oh god, it feels good when you win. After successfully stealing my cloth back from the same trio, I had made it safely home. Feeling good about the win, I went straight back out there. I want to jump out and try and kill these guys, it could be worth it. Look at that dude, just chilling, watching, trying to find my base. Alright, I, I think you might know now. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, that's not good. Should be able to kill this guy. Unless it is more than one. Is that the same guy? I think it was. I think it's just one. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. <laughs> Wait, bro, that last nail just hit me from the afterlife. Wow. That was weird. Oh, take an extra kit and a crossy nail gun? Not bad. Uh, 
Damn, the guy had nine cooked pork. He was balling. What a hungry man. Right, I'm gonna take the pump, and I'm gonna take it to train yard. I'm fed up of fighting all of these prim guys. I wanna fight someone with gear. I want a saw, I want a python, I want something tier two, you know? My wipe day on 1000 player rust was starting to come to an end. I was keen for some final PvP, and so I headed to train yard to fight some geared players. Yeah, I see a couple of them. They're clearly roaming quite deep, probably controlling train yard. I, I imagine I'll wake up tomorrow deep. to find that ice lake base of fucking yard. fortress. Wait, I just saw an eye took. Ooh, he might be farming. Come on, come on. I'm gonna wait right here. I'm not in a great spot with a shotgun, but I might pull it off. AKs? What in the world? Oh, wow, he just knew. I, I don't know how, but that guy was aware. Wow. With AKs outside and Arctic SARS roaming, I took my Revy and tried again. All right, come on, we get this, we win this. Wait, that's the Arctic guy. I need to kill him as far away from his big base as possible. Wait, he's coming, he's coming. Python? Wasn't the jackhammer guy. Fuck it, I'm gonna keep roaming with this python. I wanna see if I can do something with it. If I wait around here, I feel like one of the group might come back, maybe with something better. Maybe an 8k? I was really hoping someone would push out. Maybe not, maybe they're too busy. Definitely just saw someone to my right though, I think he was naked. Two guys, both naked. Oh my god, they're Revy? Two Revy's? <laughs> There's me thinking it's two nakeds and I'm there like unprepared. It's two revies, naked revies, of course. Okay, nice. Shots were still going off around the area, so I went home, grabbed a pumpy, and headed back to the fight. I know sorrow, I know pain. Let them have me. If There's a guy in the water down there. What the hell? Oh, he's gonna be freezing. Okay. What the fuck? When it's time, Jackie? Me stay. Get inside, get inside! No way. Well, I found the Jackie guy. <laughs> Let's go! Right, I need to grab his gun. I'm not sure what it was. Might have been a Thompson. Oh, it was a pump. It was a pump. Nice. I'll take it. <sighs> well, that is a nice way to end off a white day. And with that, after a long day of ups and downs, it was nice to end on a big win. But my story on this server was only just beginning, because what follows is full of action, raids, chaos, and most importantly, the solo life. I really hope you enjoyed, and make sure you subscribe if you want to see part 2. I'm also launching a new 1.5x trio server on the 27th of April, and I look forward to seeing some of you there. With all that said, I will see you guys in the next one. Wiljum, out.